Okay, welcome back. Uh, repent slash repentance, the book of Numbers. It's only mentioned once in the book of Numbers. If you'll turn to chapter 23, verse 19, that's where we're going to start. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Repent here is, falls under definition number five. In theology, to sorrow or be pained for sin. Okay. He's saying that he's, God's not a liar. He's not a sinner. Notice it said there that he should lie, neither the son of man, that he should repent. We are born into a world of sin. We are sinners. We have to repent. Okay? He's saying, um, dishonor, this is trying to say people, you look at the New Testament, they keep trying to make Jesus out to be a liar. These new Bible perversions make Jesus out to be a liar, and if he lies, he's a sinner, and if he's a sinner, he's not God. And that's what's going on here. God is not a liar. If he says he's going to do something, he's going to do something. He says he's not going to do something, he's not going to do it. Um, back in Exodus, you know, we came across the, his providence. He, he's still punished. If you remember when he was talking to Moses, I believe when he said he's going to kill everybody and start all over with Moses, I've had people tell me that, ah, oh, he was just testing Moses. But right here we see that it says, Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? If Moses failed that test, I believe God would have destroyed Israel and started all over with Moses. If God said he's going to do something, he's going to do it. He's not a liar. So, you've got to remember that the context here, notice it says, Romans chapter 3, verse 4, God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar as it is written that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Notice it said that God is not a man that he should lie. The repentance here is talking about how we, as sinners, repent because we are sinners. When we lie, we repent. Whether it's to God, we still should repent to God, but we repent to the people we lie to. I've said this before, if I lie to somebody, I say, I am sorry for lying. And that's what this is right here. Sorry, sorrow or, or be pained for sin. I am sorry that I lied to you. And when you say that, you're admitting that you lied and you understand the consequences of lying. That's what we do. God is not a liar. So context here, definition number five, to sorrow or be pained for sin. God's not a liar, so he doesn't have to have sorrow or be pained because he's not a sinner. So, Book of Numbers, only mentioned one time. We'll see you in the next book.